Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Speech with Shell. I'm an adult speech and language therapist and today I'll be demonstrating to you a speech therapy exercise for Parkinson's disease that you can do at home, so stay tuned. If you have Parkinson's disease and you want to have a louder and stronger voice with a better sounding voice quality, then you've come to the right place. Before I jump into the video, I will say please speak to your speech and language therapist before doing these exercises just to make sure that they're appropriate for you. We don't want you straining or hurting your voice in any way. So the therapy exercise that I'm demonstrating today is a sustained phonation or a sustained R sound. This therapy exercise is well recognised in speech and language therapy and has a lot of research to back it up. So to do a sustained R sound, all you need to do is keep your mouth nice and open and say R ah, for as long and as loud as you can. So like this, deep breath in first, R, ah, but hold that for as long and as loud as you can. If it gets uncomfortable, please stop. We don't want you straining your voice or anything like that. Um, the goal really is to be as relaxed as possible while you're doing it. Now you might feel a little bit daft at first, but this is a really great exercise to strengthen your vocal cord muscles and to coordinate your breathing system with your voice, which is really important since our breath is our fuel for our voice. Without good breath support, we can't get that loud and that strong voice. Aim to do this about 10 times in one session if you can, maybe once in the morning and once in the afternoon, whatever suits your schedule. But the more that you can incorporate this into your everyday routine, the better. Make sure to have a glass of water with you as well and sip on it throughout. That's really important to make sure the voice is kept nice and hydrated. Again, we don't want you sort of straining your voice or drying out the voice. It can also be a good idea to time yourself as well and record your best attempt. This could be done either on audio or on video and watch yourself back. This is a really good way to build your own self-awareness of your voice. And so then you can monitor when you're getting a bit quiet. It might also be helpful to show this to other people and ask them to rate you. So on a scale of zero to 10, on a loudness scale, where would they put you? So then you've got a bit of a target, a bit of a goal to reach to try and get as loud as you can. Now, if you want a bit of a challenge, we can add what we call a motor load. People with Parkinson's disease often find it difficult to multitask. And we do a lot of this in conversation. We don't ever think about it because our brain works so automatically and so quickly. But every time we speak, we have to think about what we want to say, select the right words and the right sounds and put them in the right order. Our brain then has to send that message to our mouth and our mouth has to move in the right way to get that message out accurately. We also have to say it at the right volume. We have to put our intonation in. So when we go up and down with speech, so that's a lot that's going on that we do really take for granted. So we're multitasking all the time. So by adding a motor load to this exercise, essentially all you're gonna be doing is doing something physical whilst you're doing your sustained R's. So this might be tapping um, to a rhythm. So sort of tapping your leg like this as you do it. Ah, uh, like that. Or sometimes some people find passing an object or a ball or something between their hands. So like this, passing this candle between my hands. Ah, uh, like that. So adding that motor load, you're adding an extra load to your brain. Your brain's not only having to do a movement, which we know is difficult in Parkinson's, but also think things through and get that good voice. And you're also self-monitoring, so making sure that you're loud. Another way to make it a little bit more challenging is to add a cognitive load. So all I mean by this really is a thinking load. So something else that you're thinking about whilst you're doing these R's. So this might be counting um, from one to 20 in your head or singing a song like happy birthday, or some people like saying the days of the week. What you might find when you start to add these extra loads in is that your voice gets 
slowly quieter as you go on because you're concentrating more on either passing the ball or the item or concentrating on thinking and counting. So again, it can be really good to record yourself because then you can see if there was any dip in your voice. And again, try and keep it as loud as you can. If you want to take it a step up and monitor yourself a bit better, there is actually a free app that you can download on your smartphone or your iPad called Decibel X. I'll post details in the description box below, but all this is is a decibel sound meter. And what you can do is see how loud or what the volume is of your voice in decibels. So you can aim to get it louder and louder each time. So there you go. That's three simple exercises that you can do to strengthen your voice and increase the volume of your voice if you have Parkinson's. Like I said before, try and get into a good routine with these exercises and incorporate them into your daily life. Because as your Parkinson's progresses, it will become much more difficult for you to do this um, and to really relearn those motor skills. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time.